So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys one of the theme song short So here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady or Martha Butler does not own the any trailers or pictures. Hi everybody, Martha here. And another day, another trailer for a Star World. Star World. All world um, trailer series. Um, so before we get watch into the trailer of Obi Wan Obi Wan Kenobi's TV series on Disney Plus, um, I want to say all the stuff I know about it and what I'm hoping for and yada yada yada. And let's get to it. So first off, um. Ian McKellen's returning, so is Hayden Christian. Um, and this is about Obi Wan Kenobi's time on Tatooine, where he's um, making sure that nobody kills Luke, even though nobody knows he's there because Darth Vader, Darth Vader thinks his son's his son's isn't happy kids. So and. We know he, they're probably going to redcon some stuff from the New Hope. What else is new that yeah, redcon things are for ever since Disney's taken over it? So I'm not going to be surprised if they do. I understand why James Earl Jones is not going to play Darth Vader in this. He, because he, last time we played Darth Vader, he just sounded like he was either sick or tired. Now, I think he did a good job, and I don't blame the guy, because he's getting up there in years. And I think he did the best he could, all things considered. But I would understand why he would not want to, why, um, he would not want to do it anymore. And even though there's a lot of people who do not like Hayden Christian since the prequels, and, they, and he's one of the reasons why, I don't know who else who they would get to do it. Though I don't know how he would do the voice. That's the only thing I'm um, curious about. Cause that's the only thing. <laughs> so I, hopefully, probably does just do his own voice. But I don't know how the other other else gonna work. But they'll find some way because they did make some way for Mark Campbell to sound like his younger self with a weird machine. When they did Luke and um, Boba Fett, and I'm, I hope it's a lot better than that show, because I do agree that show kind of did ruin Boba. Boba didn't really have much of a personality in the original series. We think he did. We like hyped him up and that stuff like that, in one movie because the other movie he got put in the saw like pit. <laughs> I just really wish they kept him what he was in Mandalorian. But since it's takes place in the same exact planet as that one, hope this will be the last time you see Tatooine for a while. Because I'm tired of seeing nothing but desert <laughs> for a little bit. So, let's hope the next series that they have takes a um, place on a different planet so and I the, the characters I would like to return besides the ones that I mentioned would be um, Qui-Gon I don't know how they would explain that since in um, both Rebels and um, in, Cl in um, Clone Worlds they told us that he is just a voice as a as a um, as a spirit, as um, as one with the force. He's just a, he's just a voice. He's not a ghost, a 
a ghost. Like, um, everybody, like, Obi-Wan and Yoda come. And now Luke. So, and also would like to see Dark Maul. He should be, because he, he would still be alive during this time. I would like to see, like, have a little, little, have their fight happen in live action. Somehow, I don't know how, like, make, make, Ian, make Ian look older. Do you want to? Since they don't meet until he's an old man in the in the Rebels series. So, and he is one of the few things that he's he is like the only thing that they um like from that time period. From from the clone from the prequels, one of the things is his role. So I, I understand. A lot of people are excited for that. I don't hate the prequels as as everybody else. I, I kind of like grew to accept them over the time since. Huh, I don't like I did not like the new series that much. Not really, not at all. The new, new movie I liked that they made was Rogue One. So, well, let's watch this and watch this trailer and see. Okay, let's get started. The fight is done. We lost. Yep, we lost. Stay hidden. Hunting Jedi. This patience. Jedi cannot help what they are. Their compassion. Oh, bringing those characters back. Leaves a trail. The Jedi code is like an itch. He cannot oh, help it. Is he? Yeah, they have to be good. Yes, you have to kill Yeah, I don't know. Check the desert planet. Halloween, what happens in Rebels, which for people who don't know, I don't know who is watching this who hasn't watched Rebels, but there's bound to be someone. Um, these characters that you saw in the trailer are called the High Inquisitors, and they would chase any remainder um, Jedis that survive. Um, Um, code 66 and kill them since they um, since they since the clones are not uh, all the clones are gone these guys are to take their place and no the ones that are in um, the rest of the movies are not the same people they're their own, own individual people if, if you watch Bad Batch you would know that and also they also say that before because wasted, but this is before that. <laughs> so this looks pretty good. Um, there's no, they did not show me about Darth Vader, and maybe I'll show that later. But I think this is only probably about like, the first two episodes, probably. I don't know. That's the only ones they probably showed on here. But like the one thing that they're pretty much retconning is. Is that nobody finds Obi Wan until New Hope, and how would they not? How would they not know about Luke after that? Because they would 
when they sense him, they would find a way to get around that little puzzle piece. But I don't. Th not like Darth Vader sensed his son on on that ship. Only when he sensed was his was Obi Wan during New Hope. <laughs> but on New Hope, I don't think um, they thought of him as Darth Vader's son. Then you didn't know. George Lucas didn't really have all the movies in order. Otherwise, why would um, Luke and Leia kiss <laughs> in two movies before they find out they're siblings? <laughs> so, both in New Hope and in Empire, they both kiss. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, looks like it comes out in May. So we got two things that will be on Disney Plus that will be on May. So this is their show that comes that be on that we're gonna watch after, um, before after Moon Knight's done with. So I'll see you guys later. Like, favorite, and subscribe, and bye bye. And may the force be with you. <laughs>